Hey, it's Dave, and today we're going to blog. And by blog, I mean we're going to fix our blog page because right now it's just two blog posts that are static. They don't change. You can't add new blog posts, and you can't display ones that you've added. Right now, our blog.jade file is just an H1 with the title and an H2 and some paragraph and another H2 and another paragraph. So uh, we need to add a text box. Um, actually a text area so we're gonna make a new paragraph inside that paragraph we're gonna put a text area rows equals three rows columns equals 50 columns and we're gonna do an ng model equals blog text and after that text area we're gonna do button and inside the button we're going to say ng click equals submit blog submit new blog post parentheses and then on the button we'll say submit let's take a look at this there we go i just added a text box and a submit button right now we don't doesn't do anything because we didn't actually make the function for this submitting a new blog post so Let's copy this. Let's go to our controllers. What's that? We don't have a controller for the blog post yet, for the blog page yet. So I'm going to make one. I'm going to copy the bio controller for the bio page. It doesn't have anything in it, so I'm just going to copy it. I'm going to call it blog CTRL. I'm going to go to our app.js, which is in our main folder, slash public, slash js, app.js. Remember, there's two app.js's. There's the front end one, which is this one, and then there's the one that you run when you run the program, which is this one with the routes in it. So try to keep track. And what we're going to do is right where it says slash blog and it says project CTR, we're going to change that to blog CTRL. Before we were sharing the same controller, but we don't want to do that. We really want to write our own controller for the blog page. So we got that set up. Let's go back to our controllers. We're going to add HTTP to our list of services for that controller because what we're going to be doing is a server call. The user is going to type their blog post, then they're going to click submit, and that's going to do a server call to the server. Um, we've done server calls before, back when we made the video on uh, adding two numbers together. Instead of doing that, we're going to be posting a blog post. So I'm going to copy this code. But I'm not going to just paste it into this blog controller. I'm going to put it inside a function, just like we did down there. We're going to do scope dot submit new blog post equals function. And inside the function, we'll put the server call. But instead of a get method, we're going to do a post method. There's four types of methods for doing a server call. There's get, there's post, update, and delete. These are uh, known as REST protocol, HTTP protocol, whatever you want to call it. But um, usually get is used when there's just a few small pieces of data and you're just shoving it into the URL like we did before. But we're not going to do that here. We have a lot of data because we have a full blog post. And so we're going to set a new endpoint. Instead of using slash API slash add two numbers, we're going to change it to submit new blog post. And the difference between get and post is when you do a post method, you actually have to send it data in another, you have to do comma and then the actual data you're sending. So I'm going to say um, blog text colon scope dot blog text. So there we go. We have our server call. If the result is good, I'm going to say alert post successful. If for some reason our blog post to the server fails, I'm going to do the same thing except I'm going to say post failed. Save that. And that's pretty much it for our blog control. Now, on our server, we have to handle this call. So, Remember on our app.js, our main app.js for the server, we have to add a new route. 
So we have to do app dot post. Before we did app dot get because it was get, but this time it's going to be app dot post um, slash API. You'll see why in a second. Slash API slash submit new blog post. And we'll map it to an API function called submit new blog post. I'm going to copy the name of that function that we just called out. I'm going to go to our API.js and do exports dot submit new blog post equals function request result. There's our function. Let's do this. Let's just say result.json empty brackets. All that's going to do is return nothing, basically back to the to the web browser. Um, we'll figure out what to do with the actual text from the blog post um, when I make that video. But for now, I just want to grab the data from the submission from the web browser and display it on our terminal so that we know that the server got it. So what I'm going to do is do console.log um, received a blog post exclamation 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 and there we go that's our we just wrote our server function for handling a blog post so let me refresh our page let me actually refresh our server refresh the page test posts number one submit post successful and as you can see our server received a blog post now we want our server to actually know what the blog post was. So there's one last step, and that would be saying console.log, let's say request.body.blog text. Let's save that. Restart the server. Go to our page. Refresh. This is my blog post. Exclamation point submit undefined. Why did that not work? Hmm, I know why. Controllers.js, we screwed up our HTTP call. We're actually supposed to put this glob of data. Oops. This glob of data. I'm going to cut it out. And I'm going to do comma data colon the data so you have method URL and if it's a post you also should include the data so that's what we're doing here let's try that again node app.js let's refresh the page test post exclamation point exclamation point boom there we go test post our server has received our blog post and I did it using a post API call. Nothing new here yet, but in the next video, we'll take a look at saving that post on the server and then displaying it back on the page. Till next time, Dave out.